everybody. I am here today with some very special guests. We're here today for our Souls to the Pole Sunday. I'm here with Commissioner Rodney Ellis. I'm here with Mr. Jason George, Congresswoman Lizzie Fletcher. And I'm also here with the president of University of Houston downtown, Dr. Blanchard. Here first, I'll start with the Congresswoman ladies first. What is the importance of Souls to the Poles and why do you feel like this is so needed, especially today? It is critical that we get out to vote today. This is the only Sunday that we can vote early before Election Day. And the stakes in this election are so high. And we know that as women in Texas, our rights are being rolled back. It's not just true for women, it's true for all of us. All of our rights are being taken away and we can change that at the ballot box. Mr. Jason, you have had an extremely illustrious career in acting. You like me, you know I'm from Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> what has it been like for you to cross over from that amazing career and what has inspired you to be such an activist and to really be championing for people's rights. I play a fake doctor for a living, but we bring in real issues mm -hmm. uh, and we talk about them. And we make you feel what it's like to actually live that situation. Uh, and we, you know, we have situations now in the world where women are dying in parking lots because they can't get the health care they need because their rights have been taken away. So I come on out trying to help uh, get people out to vote because at the end of the day, it affects your life. It affects your life. I mean, look, I'm, I'm here, not gonna be here for that much longer. Uh, I hope a little while longer, but you know, but it's about making sure my kids grow up in a better world than the world that I'm living in right now. Commissioner, um, you are no stranger to the community of faith family. You, what is so special about Souls to the Poles for you this year? Well, I shut up today because this is also my church, as you know. Yes. Sir. Uh, but look, it's important to note that Vice President Kamala Harris would come to Houston, come to Texas this close to an election. It was a historic visit. I think she came because I borrowed a line from Beto O'Rourke. I really got from here. Texas is not a Republican state. It's a state where Democrats don't vote. Colin Allred can win. Now, I want to encourage people to go vote. Vote, vote however you want to vote. Go vote. I'm voting a straight Democratic ticket. Starting with Kamala Harris, Colin Allred, the Congresswoman going straight down to the bottom of that ballot. All blue. All Democrats. And I think it'll make a real difference for the future of our country. Absolutely. And Mr. President, you have such an amazing reach and an extended reach to this next generation. And what do you say to this next upcoming generation of students who are pursuing higher education or even just young people in general who may not feel urged to vote in this election? So I'll say that it's both their civic responsibility and fr fr frankly, it's their personal responsibility as well, not only on behalf of themselves, but on behalf of their mothers, their fathers, their generations of people who really made lots of sacrifices to ensure that they would have this opportunity to vote. Plus the vote does matter, not only matters in terms of affecting their lives directly, but in terms of all of those who will eventually become leaders themselves and will want people to vote for them. And that's really what the purpose of higher education is. It's really to lift up these students so that they can become our next generation of leaders, both in their communities as well as in their professions. Absolutely. That's a very presidential response. Very <laughs> Bishop Dixon, do you have any last message that you want to give before we close out? Now, I'm just so thankful that uh, we have such a core coalition of leaders moving around the city and around the county today on behalf of Souls of the Polls. The church thrives when it comes to voter rights and voter responsibility. It's the fact that the Black church has been the seat of the voter rights movement for decades. People were killed, churches were burned, pastors were lynched because they had the audacity to hold voting rights meetings and classes in their churches. And if we fail to keep souls of the polls going, we're disconnected from our history, our heritage, and we cannot wait. After the benediction, we're rushing to the Acres Home Multiple Service Center, Souls to the Polls 2024, and as it's been said, all the way down the ballot, please don't just vote to the top, vote to the bottom, because your vote is your voice, and your voice is your power. All right, y'all, that's it for me right now. Remember, get out there, vote. We want to see your stickers. So after you vote and you get your sticker, make sure you post it. Tag the community of faith on social media, hashtag souls to the polls, and we'll see you there. I know y'all are very official, very respectable people, but can I get a one loud souls to the polls chant on three? One, two, three, souls, souls to the, the polls! polls.